Well hello there, Just Will here again, and today we're going to just do a quick usual recap of what happened in the last stream, and really, bugger all happened! It was one of those streams where everything was just kind of a bit of a grind. Even with 50 grams, it was just, yeah, 50 gram ores, should we say, nothing really got done. Because I want to start sorting out the ore process and stuff over here. I've just put some extra silos in just before I start recording, so they're all ready now. Um, but yeah, it was all just kind of a lot of faffing around and nothing really got done. Um, nothing got done with hydroponics, none of the roofing got done. It was really just what felt like five hours and yeah, it was all just kind of chaos. I didn't even get any of the interior stuff done. I got as far as putting some chairs in here, which subsequently was a little bit lethal as it trying to, should we say, yeeted me outside the building when I got up from this seat. Um, so I had to change the table on that. But yeah, really not a lot got done in the end. It was all just, I don't know, it, was, it felt like I was doing stuff, but nothing really changed. It was all just, I don't know, a lot of stuff, but yeah. So, to make up for it, shall we say, the big plan is to actually try and organise a bit more of this. Um, now saying that, I just realised what I spent most of the time doing, and I think it was trying to get the airlock working here, and I had to keep moving the pipes around. And that was an absolute pain in the butt. So, yeah, I think I might have lost a lot of time just getting an airlock system going here, just in preparation and moving the furnace and sealing it all up. I mean, it didn't feel like, again, it was that complicated, but I think it was just a lot of time spent doing that. So, so the main plan for this episode is going to be getting a fully automated ore processing and, well, not processing, organising. So, hopefully, it's intro done before the sun sets. So I put some silos in, I'm going to have the for or the filters, I'm going to have the sources all along the top here, so they're all going to be just sorting out as usual, going into it, and I believe I'm going to put in a ice crusher up this end, because this pipeline, no, tell light, that's the CO2 line, that pipeline I believe there, the brown one, which is coming around here, that can be tied in somewhere, probably either there or here. Probably actually going to be over here now I say that. Yes, yeah, probably here. Now I said that actually, I just realised I've got this ice crusher which is already hooked into that waste pipe. So I could literally just dump all my ices into here because the only liquid one that's going to come out from the liquid pipe is the ox uh, the water. So I don't mind actually chucking everything into here. So yeah, okay, I'll have the filter then come round and end here. So I'll have my unloading bit, because I want to have an automatic unloader, probably here somewhere. And then probably the regular th things here. So I want to get the deep core miner going. So that's going to be, let's see if I can find it up. Deep miner. So this thing, basically, is going to create dirty ore, which is basically the regular stuff. Um, and we're going to put it in the centrifuge now. There is a combustion one, and I've never played with this. And the fact it's gas powered sounds exciting. So I think that's going to be the plan to get one of these going and just see what happens. I feel it might explode. I mean, it says things like um, if you eject all while it's at high RPM, it result in additional stress buildup. So, yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll see what happens. Bit of excitement with that one. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's what I want to do basically get a deep core mining rig over here. So in this area, feed into some centrifuge. I keep saying centrifuge. I think it's what it is, isn't it? Centrifuge. Or what's the centrifuge? <laughs> um, and then basically, that should give us ores into the start of the system. Have a bag unloader, so I'll be able to drop these mining backpacks straight in, and it will just empty it out and take the ores and pop them around, and hopefully just eject the backpack out. Possibly. Actually, no. I think it will probably take it and put it around. So have it just come maybe to the end here and just pop out somewhere here or I put a pre-filter so before it goes through it just pops the item back out so yeah probably pre-filter so anyway but before that we have running a monthly giveaway of a free copy of stationers it's on our discord link is in the description below well I've got all the shoots now in it took about a day of um, well a game day and I popped in a unloader which I should be able to just chuck my backpack in, uh, my mining backpack, one of these in, and it should then just filter through. I just need to program the sorter so then it will only pass ores into the system and then just shoot the bag out 
into the room. I'm thinking I'm going to put a wall possibly along here. I might even put an airlock here. Or possibly even here. I'm not 100% sure yet. So this will end up being kind of almost sealed off as well. So an extra little bonus area. Just makes it a bit easier to work in the wind because it not being funny if we get a snowstorm turn up. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to deal with. So the next job is to start programming these in. Now there's probably a way I could do it with possibly the floppy disk. Never actually tried. Um, but anyway, I know this method works. I've labelled this one up as iron sorter. So it's going to be a case of just going in and setting in with the horrifically small text in here. Scroll through it all and we're looking for... There we go. Iron ore. Now, I've got a funny feeling. I was told one time during a live stream, I think you can click on this now. Yes, this now does work. I think when I first set them up on the Mars run, ah, yeah, that happens. So you go down, and when you release, it does that. So, yeah, this is um, not great, unfortunately. I don't know if I can use the up arrows. No, they're not working either. So, yeah, it's a little bit um, annoying. Ah, there we go. So if I drag it, and then mouse over here, it stays on screen. So, a little bit of a tip there. So you can get it into the right area. If it'll do it now. See, now it's misbehaving. I'm roughly in the right spot. And then just scroll it down. So it saved me wearing up my scroll wheel. Because I think, to be honest, I broke a mouse after the Mars run scrolling so much. Because it never quite worked that well after spinning through so many like that. Anyway. So now I've got these kind of, well, the idea anyway, I'll just go through these um, between, between edits. So the next bit I've got to do, I think, is make sure that only ice goes into there. That should be all that's left over. I don't think we're going to have anything else going into the system. Saying that, no, my luck, I probably put something else in there by accident. But if I go over to, actually, no, I don't need to go over there, do I? Silly me. I want to actually be on the computer screen because I'm wondering if there's a catch-all group called let me see because you have or is there one for ice or is it all the same no so it looks like just or so that should be fine then as long as we put it down as or because I think it is a case of, even though it's got a label of ice in that, in here it comes under the general ores category. Uh, oh, actually, no. Frozen ores. Ha. Huh. Um, well, as long as it comes under that, we'll, we'll test it out anyway, see if it does come under that. I think it does, because there's no um, frozen option. Uh, let's see. No. So I think it is just ores then. So we just want ores for everything at the first one. And then that will then chuck the bag out or anything else we accidentally put into there, basically. Okay, and then it should go through all these, filter down, and then the only things that are going to be left by the end are ice-based ores. So that would be things like nitrous, volatiles, oxide, and water. Water will then go straight into the greenhouse area. So we've got to put a tank in there eventually. And then the gases would be just looped through. It's a bit ugly like that. Um, but basically that feeds into the brown pipeline, which is our waste pipeline that goes around here. And straight into the filtration system. So that should work quite nicely. We just have a constant feed. The only thing I've got to be a bit careful with is when I'm outputting from here, I don't want to have any of that gas getting ignited if there's some volatiles I'll put into the system. So I might put in a possibly a bit of smart logic like I did before on the Mars one where if there is gas detected that is shall we say above 20 degrees probably a good number this will turn off because I think if it's above it's going to heat the gas up to 10 degrees now anyway so if I say 20 30 degrees basically if it's hot stuff in there we don't go and I'll probably put a one-way valve in possibly around here somewhere and put the sensor on the other side so where this is feeding in so that way then we get a reading off the gas pipe so if there's anything in the system it won't basically let it through at least 
that makes some sense to me anyway, as they say. Right, so I think all I've got left to do now is just program these all in, put some labels down, and then what I'm going to do is start placing out the deep core mine. I think it's going to go... I was thinking maybe here, but I might go a bit further out, maybe over here, because I still sort of put in the um, centrifuge and things like that in there. So, yeah, I think that's going to end up being possibly here. I might put two in. We'll see how much we get out of it. I'm not sure how much material they actually produce yet, so we'll see. Anyway, let me get some of this programming sorted out. Right. Right, there we go. Gone through and programmed it all. Took a lot more effort than you'd want it to, but hey ho, it's all there. So now we've got to test it. Now, I've left all the sources on at the moment. This will need a sort out, really. Some sort of system that will basically power it down when there's nothing to sort. Um, because realistically, it's going to be quite power hungry. Um, already, I think the battery is starting to tank a little bit, so yeah. I mean, it's, it's been low like that before, so it's not exactly unusual, but it's still, yeah, concerning. So that is something I'm going to have to bear in mind. This whole lot's going to have to be turned off. Most likely I'm just going to run there and just shut it all down. Could have a sensor maybe? Well, let's see. I just remembered I haven't actually connected this bit up because I need to run the cable this way because the cable's getting in the way of the um, signage. So I was going to run the cable through there. Um, I haven't got uranium, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Right, let's put it in. So, in it goes. Okay. Nope, that's... um. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Right. Oh, of course. Right is the filter. So this filter needs to be moved over that way and then bring the stuff over <sighs> okay um well it's gonna have to make a mess now aren't i oh wait a minute my bag's gonna oh poo <laughs> that's just gonna send it through the system isn't it so i need to put a hole here right come on dump it all out make a mess <sighs> all right there we go flipped it around. I need to put a few more shoots on to bring it over, but that will do for just a test run. So, let's try again. Need to be working. Okay, stuff's going through. There was a little bit of lead, I believe, in there, so we should have a little bit of here in here. Quite a clatter. Clatter or a racket? Yeah, we go. Yep, we've got some lead in there. So it looks like we're in for a little bit of a treat here, as they say. Yep, everything's working fine. So, success at last. So the silos are auto sorting, and we should, in theory, go like over here. If I turn that on, if I can get to it. Uh, haha. Can't quite get the switch, can I? This game needs a crouch. One of those things that I always think it just. If I could just crouch down, I'd be able to get that switch. Oh, no, I can't quite get to it, can I? Can I go down here, maybe? Can I get to it? There we go. So it should now be grinding. Yep, there we go. See, so there is some water ice I put in there. So that should now be topping up that water pipes. It's not, um, oh, what was it? We didn't see the actual thing um, move past. Normally we see it clip through it, but we didn't then. So, okay. Well, in that case then, we seem to be there. It's all done, dusted, and everything's working. And we should now have on the back here, on the floor, our mine backpack. Empty and ready to go again. Perfect. So now, while it's still dark, just before dawn, I'm just going to quick run around and just grab a load of resources and start filling up some of these silos and then once it's daylight we'll start working on the deep by well, the um, new mining rig systems I've now created the deep miner done a little bit of mining but not a huge amount 
Uh, let's see, so now which way around do we want this? I can see, I think that's the drill bit there. Hard to really see, but it looks like, so this is the back where the electrics or the cables are. So if I do maybe, I don't want it right up against that because it shouldn't damage the ca uh, pipe, but you never know. So if I say here somewhere, well, actually no, there's nothing, wait a minute, there is nothing stopping me from having it. Let me see, like this. Yes. Because I could have the chute come straight out, power connections are there, make it kind of easy to manage. I could even do that actually. Yeah, that might work. The only problem is I won't have my airlock here, but I might have it up here actually. Ooh, choices, choices, choices. Let's go for here. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Then I'll have it some probably coming out here somewhere. Hmm, or maybe we just come out straight here. Yeah. I'll play around see if I can work out a way. I might even actually now think about it, take it back further here and put the frames maybe out. Okay, and then we've got this, which is the centrifuge. Now I can see an in and out. I'm gonna guesstimate that it just takes in gas or the fuel that we use for the furnace. Now we already have a fuel line coming across here. So if I somehow tap that and bring that down here, this is the tricky bit, getting it past all this pipe and bits. It might have to come up and over and down. It's not a huge problem because I could bring it up high, take it over what is going to potentially be airlocks and then just drop it down into the room. Yeah, that might end up being the way I think because I can't see any other way of doing that easily. And then having it possibly like that. Because this machine is literally going to feed straight into this machine. It's not really going to have anything else going on. Yeah, that might be perfect, actually. Then I've just got to take the oars out. Mm. Okay, so that's probably what we'll do. Then I'll just shimmy this over a little bit. And then I'll place it all down in this area here. Don't tell me what I'll do two just yet. I'm going to just stick to the one and we'll go from there. Yep, right. I'll crack on with that. Right, I think I'm there. I've got the power in, fuel lines are in, waste pipes in. I am slightly worried about this to say the least. Um, I can actually do a little bit of programming on this thing and it'll be interesting to see what we can do with it. Because reading through some of the descriptions about it, there's a lot of mention about higher RPMs you get more materials, but if you go too quick it'll uh, experience stress. So that's interesting. So this whole stress thing is available for it as well. So I'm guessing if once it hits maybe one, that means it's completely stressed out and explodes. So yay. Um, so there's a lot of interesting little things we've got to bear in mind with this a little bit. Um, so yes, yeah, so basically if it speeds up or slows down too quickly, it experiences stress, um, eventually it'll grind to halt. Oh, okay, so it might not explode. Ah, we're fine then. So, yeah, okay, so I guess the only thing to do now is not procrastinate any longer and switch on the drilling rig and get this going. And this should now just dig down. Well, still nothing yet, uh, it doesn't even, oh, it's a lie, just as I say there's still nothing coming out, it's now decided to get there. I mean, it is gone down miles. I can't, I can barely see the head now. So I presume it's now hit bedrock because that looked like dirt that just came out of it. Okay, let's see. Um, yep. Process an 11 times item dirty ore. Right, if I leave it longer, do I gain a bit more? Because, or does it stack? It's interesting how it acts slightly differently. Okay, so that's now taking it in. Ah, it's closed up. That means that it can't work with anything in... Okay. I'm not getting a lot out of this. It has to be said, it is a very low yield system. Oh, I just had another one go through. Okay. And, yep, it didn't stack it. Okay, right. So, um, I guess it's time to push on these buttons and see what happens um yeah <laughs> can you tell i'm slightly hesitant as to 
play with something that is got lots of warning labels and things like that on it. So, okay, let's see. So this is a combustion limiter. That's a throttle. So I guess we get a bit of throttle, maybe? Oh. Okay, it's coming to life. The RPM is increasing. And it is currently processing the dirty ore. Where's the RPM? Oh, there we go. There's the RPM. So it's a safe fish zone. Oh, well, the combustion limiter is no. Is that what I want? Or is that bad? Ooh. Okay, so it's. I mean, it's going up. Do I increase this or do I decrease this? I don't know what's good and what's bad. It's still going up. Um. That's at zero. And the RPM still increasing. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. The RPM is coming down. But the pressure is still increasing. Do I increase this? Ah, there we go. So this, this brings the pressure down. Get a bit more RPM. Let's crank it all the way to the top. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. <laughs> oh god, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. Um, bad things happening. Oh no, um, um, I've had a way. <gasps> okay. Whew. Okay, so that's. Stress is now coming back down. Is this a stress gauge? I, I can't tell. I guess it's a stress gauge. I, I don't know. All I know is I've made a little bit of coal, a little bit of copper, a little bit of gold, a little bit of iron, and a little bit of mess in my pants. I don't know if I should really have this on like a lower setting or a higher setting. I mean, the pressure is up to four. See, that's. There we go, so it's now kind of down the pressure. That is lumping around and unhappy. Look at it go. Oh, 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 ah. oh that does not sound happy. Oh, oh. Ooh. Okay, um, happy sounds, happy sounds, everything's fine. I don't know how to get rid of the pressure out of it. There's still like four megapascals, of, but there's like two pressures. Oh, is that the? Wait a minute. Four is my fuel, isn't it? The other one is my waste pipe pressure. There we go. So the stress is coming down. Let's see how fast we can get this thing to go. Speed. Oh, we're increasing speed and stress is coming down. <gasps> we might have balanced it. Where we go? Now we're getting some speed. Increasing throttle. Oh no! A suit light! Um, panic! Um, oh, actually, let's just grab a quick uh, battery. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> The panic. Okay, so stress levels are coming down. So as long as these are matching, I seem to be okay. Ooh, the stress is coming right down now, and the RPM is getting bloody high. Wow, we're getting like a decent extra element to come out of this thing. Okay, it does mean that I'm going to have to put stackers on these though, because I've been um, using the 50 gram mod. I haven't bothered about stacking them. Uh, the elements going into these silos. So I'm going to have to go through and just add some stackers to them so the stacks aren't empty. Now this is seemingly holding up quite nicely. 100% power. Full speed. Full send. I mean the pressure is increasing. We're up to 8,000. It's, it's going quite well now. 
Yeah. Now we're motoring. There's nothing to process, annoyingly. Come on, get it in there. There we go. Wow, that process is really quick now. Yep, seems to be stable. Okay, let's go check on the um, processing facility and see what's going on. So, at the moment, oh, we're seeing a mixture of everything that's appearing in here. There's some volatiles in the system, which is concerning. Hmm. Do I have my... I do. Excellent. So in the tank, there is... Mostly that. It's about 2,000. It's only residue load. Look at that. It's only literally about 65 pascals. So we're talking tiny amounts again going into the system. And our CO2 tank is sitting at 19.5 degrees. What we said it to. Alright, so... This thing is not really using a lot. It's sitting around 8,800 on that pressure, whatever that means, I don't know. And our speed is sitting at about 500. And slowly increasing. Now, at what point do we stop it? I don't know. Let's just cut the throttle down. See what happens. All the way down to zero. Oh, oh. Oh dear, but I didn't like that, did I? Okay. So I have to bring that throttle down. Slow. There we go. Is it 10%? Because if I set that to zero, that's when it's, it hits the um, RPMs too hard. So it's bringing it down just a little bit too quickly, and that's upsetting it. I'm not so sure what the combustion limiter is used for as yet. Because I've got it cranked up to the maximum. If I knock it down to like zero. Ooh. Is that dropping the RPMs quicker? Oh, I need to get a battery soon in a second as well. Hmm. See, because I'm wondering, because if I turn it off, it will, it says here, uh, da, 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 if turned off, while not stressed, the machine will just automatically start to break and reduce RPM in a controlled manner. So that would be. Let's bring those two back up again. Get the stress down. Because I'm thinking if I use the internal chip reader, I won't be able to use that function. Because if I turn the machine off, obviously that chip slot just stops working. So to allow me to have that function, I'm going to have to put a external chip and not use the internal chip for that reason. Hmm. Unless I put a chip in here, which is simply a speed controller. I could do that, actually, couldn't I? Yeah, possible. And then have it reset when the RPMs hit zero, because obviously it'll be in an off state, it'll reset at that exact point in time. Ooh, that's a that's an interesting thought actually. Having dual chip systems basically, one that's doing just the speed controlling and one that's basically saying, right, you go, stop, and things like that. Hmm. Okay, okay. That's a bit of an idea then, so because I think having the speed controller would be fairly simple. Alright, here we go. So stress is zero, turn it off. Oh, it just instantly stopped. So, okay, now if I do this, do I get the oil out? Yes, I do. Okay. Basically then, that means we don't need to worry about spinning it down. We just run it. And then as soon as something, I guess, hits 50, any item that hits 50, we then start going through the process of ejecting and bringing it down. Because I think once we hit a stack limit of 50 on, like, say, one of the ores, most likely that would be the iron ore to start off with. We initiate the spin down process and go from there. Huh. Okay. And I'm tempted now to actually put a lot more of these drills in because it's not producing a huge amount of dirt. Turn off for a second. So, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I mean, this is all interesting to say the least. 
having this thing going at full chaff all the time and then when it's ready spin it down eject it and then spin it back up again because it's not I don't think too complicated to spin this up well I've gone around and added all the stackers on they're all fitted up nicely so now I should be able to just chuck it in and hope for the best I haven't sorted out the recycle yet but it doesn't matter I'm also slightly being trampled by a dog because I have a terrier on my lap because it's getting towards my normal time as he now sniffs a microphone that I normally take him for his W and he's currently crazy like anything so yes it's getting towards the end of the episode as they say and he's pacing so anyway that's now shot out so that's all good and hopefully the stackers are now going to when he's finished trampling me Stackers are now going to just merge up or, should we say, gather up the stuff so it doesn't let the small amounts get into here so these don't end up with just odds and sods, basically. So, looking at these, I've got a lot of coal, actually. I didn't realise. So I don't need more of that, but I do need a lot more of iron now. So, okay. The next thing I need to sort out, I'd say, is a recycler, things like that, but that's fairly quick and easy. I can just bung those in. And a bit more conveyors, I think. I do have actually, now I'll say that, uh, let's see, yep, I've still got 11 conveyors on me. I keep saying conveyors, not conveyors, are they? They're shoots. So let's get those over. So my thinking is, if I bring the shoots just straight over this way, have this come down, and then have a recycler maybe, actually, now saying that, I'd probably better have it go round like that, aren't I? So I was just going through the um, bits on here and I just realised it does say actually it's bigger brother said uh, the combustion centrifuge can be used to process items significantly faster so I don't actually need to use one of these for the recycler so I'll just build a recycler and bung it straight in to this I guess I mean it should just work well there we are I think I've got my final setup in place I've moved the um, centrifuge around over here because now I realise that the recycler can go straight into it so Chuck some old canisters in it and it should now add to it. Yep, dirty ore comes up as simple as that, really. So, now the only problem is when I was disassembling and moving stuff around, I've ended up with a lot of 0 0.8, 0 0.7 of stuff. Now, this is going to be a problem because there's always going to be some regolith left over. What I'm going to have to do is probably run it through, see what comes left or what's left over, and then maybe just dump it out of the wilderness somewhere and just let the storm destroy it because I think it's going to be a problem. Now, I've only got this thing run at 10% throttle. I've actually just left it at that. So I might not even bother spinning up more because this is keeping up quite happily with it. And I don't know if there's any advantage of going quicker. So, yeah, that just, the regular went straight through on that one. Um, but yes, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be worth doing it. Oh, I see, they all was a different thing. There's a region mix now coming through. Yes, it was the one because I got the miner going anyway. So yeah, so yeah, I'm not quite sure yet if I'm gonna um, how I'm gonna deal with these point fours, point eights, and things. They might just dissipate as time goes on, but it's a case of just having to run all these old filters through. Don't know if there's anything else left to go through. Nope, that's everything all round up nicely. So yeah, we've just got weird little rounding bits now to deal with, which is going to be they are still point four. Oh, got some uranium, nice. Um, 0.4.8 stuff like that ready to deal with so it's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to say the least yeah I think what we'll do then we'll call it there and we'll basically the Saturday stream will go on as normal um, and we might do a bit of programming with this and try and work out a way of automating it semi-automation so having some sort of throttle control maybe speeding it up I don't know again if more speed has gives you more materials because at the moment it seems to be keeping up quite happily but we are getting like only 0.5 oh, 0.5 constant time that's interesting I'm guessing that's from a filter must have been from a filter so I'm gonna have to then I think I'm gonna have to put another filter at the end there aren't I and then anything that's not on this list is gonna have to be dumped out on the floor or put in a box somewhere because yeah, there's going to be other stuff going into here with the shredder and stuff. Well, on that bit of disappointment, I'm going to say that will do for today. And hopefully I'll catch you all on Saturday. Bye for now.